everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and I'm continuing the series Survival Horror Sanctuary where I take a look at some of my favorite rare obscure survival horror games of all time and today we have one of my favorites and that is Mizerna Falls. This game wears its inspiration on its sleeve and this is wholly inspired and very similar to Twin Peaks. I think that is one of the best television series of all time. I absolutely love it. I've probably watched it from start to finish about a dozen times in my life so I'm definitely going to be a very impartial reviewer of this but I think if you, even if you never watched Twin Peaks you will love it too. Before we get to Fire Involved though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down in the description as well. But for the longest time, you could not play Mizerna Falls unless you spoke or read Japanese because it was very text heavy and it was never translated. In the last year though, an intrepid group of modders have modified this to both Spanish and English, so for the first time in a very long time, we get to see what Mizerna Falls is all about. But right off the start, I never understood why developers put their main characters in full clothing in bed. Now, I've definitely slept in my clothes before, but not willingly, but I've never woken up in my shoes on my bed, no matter how rough of a night I've had. But I guess our main character here, Matthew, must have had a particularly rough night because he's wearing a jacket as well. And I will say that I'm not going to show you a lot of the horror elements in this game. I want to show you the build up into it because I don't want to spoil anything about Mizerna Falls because it is so unique and so intriguing in doing something that the PlayStation usually doesn't see that I don't want to blow it. But 10 out of 10, big credit for giving you the ability to interact with and pet the good boy down below. That is a pro developer move. But Mizerna Falls, like I said, is very inspired by Twin Peaks. And if you are familiar with that TV show, you're gonna get a lot more out of the game. You don't need to know anything about it, but you will start seeing little nods and hints as to what it's borrowing from that series. And I will say this game almost didn't make the playlist because I almost put Deadly Premonition in its place, another amazing survival horror game that borrows a lot of inspiration from Twin Peaks. But I think Deadly Premonition was also inspired by Mizerna Falls because Francis York Morgan, the main character in that game, we have a cop here also named Morgan. There's a big Twin Peaks chain of inspiration going on in survival horror. And I will say, Missouri Falls is technically an extremely impressive game as well. I absolutely love the art style and the way this game unfolds visually. Now it is definitely janky in spots. That's not because the developers didn't know what they were doing. That's because this is one of the most ambitious PlayStation 1 games I've ever played because it is a full open world. You get a car and you're able to drive around. The play PlayStation 1 must have been metaphorically bursting at the seams running Mizerna Falls because it's asking so many things of the hardware that the PlayStation 1 was just never designed for. This would have made an incredible PlayStation 2 game, but I kind of love the low fidelity nature that Mizerna Falls is giving us. But we found out that not only is Matthew's friend and love interest missing, but another girl in town has been found in the woods badly injured. This game is setting up so much story at the beginning. We need to find out what's happening to women in the local area. They're going missing. Thing. They're being attacked. Something is happening. And the way that it gives you so much narrative at the beginning is why this game was never playable before it was translated because you would never understand what is happening. It's like a lot of open world games. Different buildings have different times you can go in. People have different schedules. I'm not sure why Morgan the Sheriff is bringing Matthew, a high school student, around with him on an investigation. There's definitely some things that don't make much sense, but there's some things that definitely make a lot of sense because you'll see here as this cop car comes up to the the red light he's gonna let somebody go past him and as soon as that car goes by the cop just runs the red light a very common thing in Chicago but all joking aside it's just a funny little thing that happens but as we're at the hospital here it's just so weird and so quirky we're gonna see that there's another woman here and she is in a chair and she gives you little bits of insight if you bring her cigarettes if you've watched Twin Peaks, you know this is the log lady by a different name. If you've never watched Twin Peaks, it won't make as much sense, but it'll still tell you that she loves to smoke and says eccentric things. Every time you meet a new character, you get a little bit of biographical information about them. It may be important, it may be completely pointless, but it's always great flavor text. And if she got cigarettes, she would have told you something interesting and you do get hints as to where you need to go later on. But one of my favorite things is when Matthew asks Morgan, what is wrong with this woman? His response is hilarious and it is part of the translation. It's just how it works. But now that we know that Kathy, the other girl that was injured, is in room 201, we can move on with the story. But we're very quickly going to find out what the old lady's problem is. And that is she has ouchie ouchie feet. What are those? We don't know. 
It doesn't matter. It's just a little bit of strangeness in the game. But go ahead and listen to the soundtrack, what little there is. It is quite interesting, and I'll be back in about 45 seconds to tell you more why Mizerna Falls is a 10 out of 10 hit that you probably never heard of before. Enjoy. I just love how the soundtrack swells, it gets louder, it gets quieter, how all the characters have full animations moving them throughout the world. But you'll see here Kathy in the room, all of a sudden her heart rate starts to spike until it flatlines. And she wasn't supposed to die, the doctor said she was just in a coma. So now the real question is, what happened to her? That's going to be part of the mystery. But I love that Morgan comes out and just tells Matthew that she's dead and that he didn't see that coming. It makes logical sense, but no human being would ever say it that way, and that's why Ty again back to Twin Peaks because in that series people said things that your brain could understand but they said them in ways that didn't make any sense as far as how normal human beings talk but you'll see here we're still in that open world if there's a door you can go in it but we're going to get a little bit more information about our love interest who's missing. This is James, and he's the hospital psychiatrist, and he's been treating Emma, the girl that we're looking for who's missing. And you get this little bit of flavor text telling you what James is all about. Now, this is a joke, not joke, but James is totally willing to share with Matthew the entire psychiatric diagnosis of Emma. That would definitely be a HIPAA violation, but I guess the game isn't too concerned with that. But what I love about Mizerna Falls, outside of everything I'm not showing you, which is the horror and mystery element of it, I love the character development. Every character in this game has their own personality. They have their own likes, wants, desires, and it factors into the game a lot because something is very wrong in this town. There's some sort of evil that is attacking young women. And the big question is, how do we get to the bottom of that story? Because Matthew here is going to start investigating with Morgan. Morgan's just going to let a high school kid become part of a police investigation. Definitely wouldn't happen in real life, but in the game of Mizerna Falls, it makes perfect sense. But I know I mentioned earlier that this game is 100% open world. So once we get through the story, we're given access to Matthew's Volkswagen Beetle, and we can go anywhere in the game we want. It is truly an open world game and this is why I tie it back to Deadly Premonition so much because it also happens in a small mountain town in the state of Washington just like Twin Peaks. When I mentioned that this game was straining against what the PlayStation 1 could do, there's a lot of pop in and this is the worst driving vehicle in any video game I've ever played. It almost becomes funny but don't let a bad driving car deter you. Mizerna Falls is a special game. It is a good game. It's a well-written game. It's a very interesting game. But when I say it's a special game, I mean this game was ahead of its time. It was trying to tell a really fundamentally deep human nature story, and it was trying to do that in an entirely interactable open world. And that's something that we didn't see much when the PlayStation 1 was around. So that's why I didn't put Deadly Premonition on this playlist. I'm going to save that for a different video in some other series because that's also a spectacular game. But Mizerna Falls is a once in a generation game. It's something that's trying to do things that no one has ever seen before. And in so many ways, I would say they accomplish that. I know it looks a little ugly because it is PlayStation 1, but once you get past that old kind of way of playing and interacting with a game and get used to the tank controls, there is so much incredible to learn and find out about Mizerna Falls, its inhabitants in the story, that you're going to get hooked to this game. You're going to want to know how the mystery ends. And that's why I've only shown you the lead up. I want to get you just hooked in enough that you want to play this game after the video. But leave me a comment down below. Have you ever heard of Mizerna Falls before? Have you played the translation? Did you want to play it but didn't know a translation existed? Because if there's any game in this series that I want you to play after watching the video, it is 100% this one. Show to that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll be back next Tuesday with another video, and I'll have videos on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday as well. Do me a huge favor. Go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell. It definitely helps us out. But if you've never played Mizerna Falls, you have to. Bye-bye.